It's actually about three apps. Um, a little challenge for you all, um, those of you that have mobile technology of one kind or another, if there is the bandwidth here or if you're on uh, phone lines and stuff, you're very welcome right now to download from naturelocator.org any one of these three, if you don't already have them, apps. What these apps are, um, are helping um, organisations and, and indeed this is all citizen science, so helping yourselves to identify um, plants uh, in non-native non invasive species plants. Um, on the sea life tracker we have not just uh, invasive non-natives but we also have uh, some climate change species um, and on the far left there aqua invaders is freshwater um, species, fish and other uh, uh, creatures as well. These are non-natives and we're trying to locate them and I'm not going to really talk to you too much about how great that is for, for the scientists and stuff. What I want to actually do is tell you a story about my personal use of these things. I didn't create them or build them, but I used them. So we'll uh, go straight on. This is um, my best friend, Andy. Andy and I go fishing. Every year for the last 25 years, we've spent two or three days fishing in the summer. Um, Andy has another claim to fame, apart from knowing me. He has... Um, he was the person, the gentleman uh, with a friend of his, he was fishing in Grafham, and he was the first person to identify this creature, um, the um, killer shrimp, uh, Dicara gammaris velosus. This is sort of uh, uh, the nemesis, the arch enemy, but we have a new one, actually, the quagga mussel, which you'll have heard about recently. However, this was the old enemy number one. Um, uh, but this is an aside, so we'll get back to the story. Fishing. We've been fishing for 25 years or so, uh, Fishing is, is a, a thing that really, you know, you don't have to be brilliant at it. It's basically about meditating and being with friends and stuff. Nothing much was happening this particular day down in Cornwall, um, except that every time we brought our lines in, the weight was there, but there was no bait, and, and interestingly, the hook had gone missing as well, and this had never happened before. There were no bites, nothing was happening to our rods, but the hooks were missing, and, and this was very mysterious. Um, what it turned out was one of these fellows uh, had been on the end, and we were lucky enough to actually catch one. I'm a marine biologist by training, so being able to handle one of these, which I've only ever sort of seen about in books and stuff, was, was fantastic. So we caught one of these. This is a spiny spider crab. Um, I didn't actually totally know what it was at the time, but hey, luckily, I had the, uh, the um, now which one is it, Sea Life Tracker on my mobile phone. I had it early because I work in the environment agency and we developed it and stuff and nobody else knew about it. So I, I looked at it and um, retrospectively, I'll, t I'll tell the truth, retrospectively, I entered my data um, onto the app um, to, to think. But first of all, uh, spiny spider crab. Was I sure it was? Well, it certainly wasn't one of these because on the app you can see confusion species. It tells you things that you might have uh, seen. It wasn't one of those. Certainly wasn't one of these. And in fact, it gives you some pictures and stuff of the correct thing. So I sent it in. Uh, it's an easy process to do. And this is the bit that, that kind of fires me up. I ought to say that I hope I'm, I'm looking here at, at sort of low-hanging fruit. I, I think, because we're all a bit weird, a bit strange, I think it was mentioned in the very first uh, presentation, that we are strange people, but we're also people who sort of share similar values and we get outside and we do stuff. So this really makes me, this motivates me, because there's my dot, my blue dot. <laughs> Is that one? Um, so this is what gets going. And there it is even in even more detail. Um, and it's, it's exactly right, because I did retro enter it. If I'd done it from where I was standing, then it would have been on the shore, and that's wrong. So I actually placed it in the sea, um, as you can see there, uh, about 20 metres out. Um, that's my blue dot. Uh, it's all mine, but I'm sharing it with you and with the scientific community. Right, we're going to move very quickly on to the next story. Um, some of you will recognise this as um, uh, Japanese knotweed. Hey, there's a theme going on here, fishing in Cornwall with my best friend Andy. This was last summer. Um, plant tracker, um, so this is, this is the more established of our um, apps. Um, Japanese knotweed, there it is. This is what it looks like. This is the screenshot. Um, then you can put in your photograph, location and other details about it tells you that it's sent, brilliant, it then gets verified. They thank you, 
and say it's entered. Strictly speaking, it's, it's not. It will be verified by a team of people, as will the other ones, prior to being uh, placed onto the website and the feedback, the bit that tells you, so here we are before, this is where I was fishing. Look, after, there's my red dot. This is brilliant. I'm also sharing my red dot with you and the scientific community. This is the Japanese knotweed map so far of like-minded people. We need many more people because Japanese knotweed is the one that everybody does. Everyone sees it. On the apps, there's a whole stack of other things that we need to identify. We need to see where they are so that we can start managing them appropriately. Um, in the future, everyone will have spotted the anomaly there, I'm sure. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, as I said before, I'm not the technical person. I, I didn't invent these things, but uh, I do use them. And, and it's absolutely brilliant to, to see your own stuff coming. These are the species that, uh, for plant tracker. So we're keeping it manageable. Um, obviously, if you're, if you're dealing with thousands and thousands of species, it would just be unmanageable. So we're keeping it manageable um, with the numbers. Similarly, these are the. This is this one I find more interesting. As I said, I'm a marine biologist. So we've got the uh, invasive non-natives, but we've also got the climate change species, of which the spiny spider crab is one of those, moving uh, further north with the warming of the waters. Um, these are the species, uh, killer shrimp here, and I dare say in time with an update, the quagga mussel will appear on this list as well. There are a couple just down the bottom of the um, So there we are. What to do? Please, please, please download the apps. You are my pioneers. Download these apps, try them out when you go on holiday, if you're walking, canoeing, fishing, whatever it is. If you use these apps, they are brilliant. Tell other people you are the representatives of your organisations. Um, and if we start from the people who are most likely to use these things, to enthuse about these things, we have a chance that others will start to use them too. Thank you very much. Thank you.